All right, welcome to the How to Flip a Classroom training. This is really exciting. Uh, the first video is just going to be the very basic. So what is a flipped classroom? So here's the basic idea. In a traditional classroom, students show up to class, their instructor stands in front of a board, writes down the information that he wants the students to learn, the students sit down here, and they tend to get incredibly bored. This guy right here is going to fall asleep about halfway through. This guy's going to throw a paper airplane at this guy. It's not the worst thing that's ever happened, but uh, it's also not very exciting. And once a student leaves that traditional classroom, they go home, and they sit down to do their homework, and they're thinking, what just happened? I really shouldn't have fallen asleep. I shouldn't have thrown that paper airplane in class. It was kind of boring. I didn't understand what was going on. And a lot of time where the student could have been productive working at home is lost. So what we want to do with the flipped classroom is we want to use a slightly different model. What we want to do is we actually want to start here at home. A student is going to go online at home and they're going to watch, uh, say, a lecture of their instructor. And videos can be edited so that they're a little bit more interesting than lecture itself. They can be a little bit shorter. A student might get a little bit bored, but it's okay because if they get bored, they can go get a snack and come back. And a student might be a little bit confused still, but they also might learn something. At least hopefully they can get from the video some idea of what the instructor wants them to know. Then what they do is they go back to not the traditional classroom, but the flipped classroom, and they show up with some idea of what's going on, which is exciting. They might also come with some questions, which is great. They might say, instructor, I understood this part, but I didn't understand this part. And the instructor says, I'm not sure I understand your question right now. Why don't you come to the board and explain to me what your question is? And then the student explains their question, and the instructor says, oh yeah, I guess that is pretty confusing. Let me explain it a little better way. So then once the whole class kind of gets an understanding of what's going on, they will have time in class to do a little bit of homework of their own. And this homework can be done under the supervision of the instructor, so if they have a question, they can just go ahead and ask it. Now there are many, many variations to this model, but the basic idea in each of them is that first, students start at home and they watch their online content, and then they show up to the classroom to do their homework. Now I will admit when I do this in my classes, it doesn't work 100% like this. Typically what I'll do is I'll have them watch a very short video online, and then they'll come to class with an idea of what's going on. We'll still have to do lecture in class, but the fact that they watched some of the content before they came to class saves us a whole lot of time and allows us to do whatever the class needs to do for, say, half of the classroom time. Now, I teach math and I really, really like the model. And I totally agree and understand that this is not something that's going to work for every single classroom. But what would be great is if we thought about it a little bit. So, what I like to do with all my videos is I like to put a little quiz at the end of it so I know that people watch the video. So here is your first video quiz. I want you to think about flipping one of your own classrooms and think about what the pros and cons are of using a flipped model in that class and decide is this something that you want to do. If you decide it is something you want to do, then please go on to video two because we're going to talk about the very, very basics of how to make these instructional videos.